What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, God King Futz here, ready to show you how you can unlock all the secret outcomes using the Love Professor and unlock the Love Professor trophy for your arcade as well as the t-shirts. Now, there are three unlocks for the Love Professor, Nemesis, True Love, and Friend Zoned. You're gonna need at least two separate friends to get all three. The method is pretty straightforward, but the theory behind the method is slightly hard to follow, so pay attention if you want to know the ins and outs of how to do this, or just follow the method until you get it. So, first things first guys, we're going to be going over how to get the Nemesis and True Love unlocks before the Friend Zone unlocks, because the method to follow is a little bit easier, plus you get these free sweet his and hers t-shirts to show off to all your single friends that you found True Love and they didn't. So, without further ado, let's get started. Going forward, for the purposes of this video, we're going to refer to the host, the arcade owner, and likely the person who's going to be watching this video as player one. Player two is going to refer to the player that is helping us out. So like I said, guys, to get all three trophies, you're going to need at least two players to help you out with. So let's start off with Nemesis. In order to unlock the Nemesis Award, you're both going to want to get Ice Cold as your outcome. And obviously, conversely, to get the True Love Award, you're both going to want to get Sizzling. So the top two and the bottom two are going to unlock those two awards. So you might be thinking to yourself, God King Futz, I've been trying this over and over on the Love Machine in my own arcade, and we keep getting the same outcome. So here's how to switch up the outcome. There are a couple of different methods that will end up switching up your outcome, but the easiest and fastest way that has been found so far is getting a lap dance at the strip club. That is right. Player two is going to have to get over to the strip club, buy a lap dance, and then come back to switch up the results. Now, there is a specific reason why we're going to be sending player two out to the strip club instead of player one, but we're going to be going over that in a couple of minutes. For now, all you need to worry about is making sure that player two gets themselves a lap dance. You're going to continue to use this method to switch up your results until you both get the same outcome. Now, obviously, if you both get sizzling or you both get ice cold, boom, you're done. You don't have to do the method anymore. But if you get any of the other options, you're going to want to send player one out to the strip club this time. Buy a lap dance, sit down, start the dance. You do not have to play out the whole dance, then leave the strip club. When you get back, hop back onto the love professor to see what happens. The chances are pretty good that you're not going to get True Love or Nemesis on your first try, and this is going to take a couple of attempts. So just keep doing it over and over again, sending player two to the strip club to get a lap dance, unless you get a match, and if the match is not the one that you're looking for, send player one. The reason why we keep sending player two to get lap dances from the strip club instead of player one is because each of the outcomes come in sets of 10. Now I know at first this isn't going to make sense, so let me explain. Getting a lap dance for player 2 cycles between the different outcomes in each set, while player 1 getting a lap dance cycles through the different sets, and each set of 10 has only one pair. What this means for us is that player 2 is going to continue to cycle through the different outcomes in each set until you get that pair, and if that pair isn't the pair that you're looking for, like I said, you're going to want to send player 1 to get a lap dance to switch up the set. Keep cycling through the sets until eventually you come across a pair that's either sizzling, sizzling, or ice cold, ice cold. What that's going to mean is either true love or nemesis. Now, once you get that, if you don't unlock the award right away, do not worry. You're going to need to spam the machine probably 10, sometimes even 15 times before you actually unlock the award. Eventually, the love professor will light up and produce a different noise than it normally makes to let you know when you've done it right. You'll also receive a notification in the bottom left letting you know that you unlocked the award. The method for unlocking true love is the same as the method for unlocking Nemesis, except with a couple of caveats that you're going to need to know. The caveat that I'm talking about is that two players can only ever get true love or Nemesis, not both. This is why you're going to need at least two players to help you out with this. In order to get true love with another player, both players' gamer tags are going to have to add up to an even number of characters combined. And conversely, to get Nemesis with another player, you're going to need to have your gamer tags add up to an odd number of characters combined. So, for example, on screen right now, we have Boston Hades 617. Now, his gamer tag adds up to 14 characters in total. My gamer tag, God King Futz, adds up to 12 characters in total if you include the space. And for the purposes of the Love Professor, we're going to be including spaces, dashes, underscores, slashes, brackets, asterisks, whatever character you have in your gamer tag. Believe me, it counts. So with Boston Hades 617, we have 14 characters and God King Futz having 12 characters. Together, they add up to 26 characters and that's an even number. As you see here, we're going to get true love. Conversely, my other friend Versatile has only 9 characters in his gamer tag. He would have been the guy with the pig mask that I got Nemesis with. 
As you might already know, there is one additional way where you can get true love with another character, and it requires Madame Nazar's arcade machine inside your arcade. To unlock true love with another player without having to send someone to the strip club over and over and over again, use the Madame Nazar machine until you get a message that sounds like this. Now, this method of unlocking true love is time sensitive, so as soon as you get that message, head into your interaction menu and invite your friends to your arcade to use the machine. Make sure the friend helping you out accepts your invite quickly, and as soon as they get there, hop on the machine. Regardless of what outcome the love professor gives you, you both are going to unlock true love if you do this method. I believe this is the only challenge in the arcade where completing it will actually unlock the award for both players. The voice behind the love professor will also give you a different line if you end up getting either nemesis or true love. So if you get ice cold, ice cold, it'll say something along the lines of, and you two have started a full blown blood feud. And if you end up getting true love, it'll say something along the lines of, get a room guys. Whatever it is, you're gonna end up knowing the difference when you finally unlock the award. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, on to the friend zone award. Now, the forums on GTA are saying that this award is supposed to take the least amount of time, but in my experience, it actually took me longer to get the friend zone award than it did to get the true love and the nemesis award combined. Now, as you can see here, it took me so long to get the friend zone award that I ended up having four of my friends wait inside my arcade for me to go out to the strip club and get a dance and come back to switch up the sets. Now, I know I'm not cycling through the different outcomes in each set, which I believe you should do, but in a pinch, if you do have a lot of friends like I did at this moment to help you out, feel free to do it this way. To get the friend zone award, you need to have an outcome that's at least seven apart, okay? So there are six different possible outcomes that you can get, so you'd think this would be easier, but it obviously wasn't for me. Thank goodness I had these boys to help me out with this guide. At this point in the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my boy Boston Haiti 617 and my boy Boston Baller 617, my boy Versatile, my boy Sleazy 12, my boy Wacky Bacon, and last but not least, my boy Jersey Mike, who didn't even have a mic. I met in a random lobby, but he helped me out with the guide and is actually the player that I ended up getting friend zone with. And that is basically that. Ladies and gentlemen, follow this method over and over again and you'll end up unlocking all three awards, all the t-shirts, and a trophy for your display case in your arcade. And with that being said, guys, that's all we have to cover in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget that I do this for you. So drop a like if you like what I did today and feel free to comment in the comment section below if you know that there's something I missed. Believe me, I read all the comments and it is much appreciated. So subscribe for more GTA related videos, guys. Have a great weekend and don't forget to stay classy, YouTube.